Well, if you're a fan of high school marching bands, then you're not going to want to miss the 32nd annual pageant of bands coming up next Saturday, October 8th at Wilson Stadium. And of course, today we have with us the president of pageant of bands, Chris Harms, or Vicki Harms, I'm sorry, and Chris Hansen, the vice president. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank so, you for having us. Oh, and we're so excited to have you on this morning. So 32 years. What are some of the changes that you've seen? Well, um, what happens with this is people participate and volunteer based on if their children are in high school. Mm -hmm. So um, I have a senior this year, so I've seen it for four years. Right. And just as time participates um, and different kids, it, it evolves. Um, the bands are much more competitive mm -hmm. now I bet. Uh, than they were 30 years ago. Have you seen changes also? This is my second years? year, mm -hmm. and just from last year, it's really, really changed. We've we've tried to implement a lot of changes that will benefit more of the students mm -hmm. than anybody else. Now, where are some of the schools competing this year? We have most of the Albuquerque public schools um, mm -hmm. are participating. A number of schools for the metropolitan area down around Berlin, Las Lunas, um, Valencia, um, schools up and from the Four Corners, Farmington, Kirtland Central, Aztec. Wow. Um, and as far south as Ruidoso. Wow, so you have a lot of schools participating this year. Any, any particular school making a first appearance, first time? No, appearance? we don't have anyone who's making a first appearance. We do have some that haven't participated last year mm -hmm. and are returning this year. Um, Rio Rancho is one of those schools. Right, okay, yeah, and I think we have some video of them actually that we'll show you all coming up in a little bit. Now, what is this going to be the school to beat this year, do you think? <laughs> um, how this competition works is it's based on the size of the, the band, not the size of the school. And so there are different classes. There are five different classes. Okay. And so based on the size of your school is what class you're in. And so mm -hmm. each one competes against a like size school. And so there are five overall winners. There's okay. one from class 1A and one from class 5A and in between. And all the way up. And we actually have a clip of the El Dorado High School marching band competing at last year's pageant of bands. Let's take a look. the school spirit at a game with marching band. Now, how did they do last year? El Dorado did win the overall competition wow. for Class 5A. I love this. I got chills just listening to it. It really does make the game. Now, uh, which school has the biggest fan, would you say? La Cueva has the La Cueva largest Cueva fan. has the largest. Mm -hmm. okay. With 150 students. 150. So that would be Class 5A? That would be Class 5A. Mm -hmm. Okay. Over 100 um, students is Class 5A. And now the smallest 1A, how many usually in bands? 30. 30. Maybe 30 kids. And the smallest band we have participating this year is Aztec. Mm -hmm. However, um, Valley and Del Norte from here in Albuquerque are in the 30 range also. Mm -hmm. So much hard work and practice, I'm sure, going in that. You have to, not only you have to get the, the your musical instrument down and get what you're playing, but also just the marching part mm -hmm. and getting in line and formation. So I know there's a lot of work and uh, a lot of work for the kids involved. Now, how does a kid actually get involved and, and try to enter a, a tryout to be in a high school band? Generally, the kids have participated in band at their middle school, and then each high school band will have band camp during the summer. Some of them also have rehearsals all summer long, so you need to look um, for when you're finishing up your eighth grade year, what high school you're going into, and mm -hmm. find out when they're having band camp and make sure you attend that, because that'll be a week-long, all-day um, camp where they learn how to march, how to play their instrument, and move. Wow. Um, it's a wonderful opportunity. Oh, I am sure. So band camp then pretty much a must before... Band yes. camp is definitely a must. Okay. Now has any New Mexico band ever gone on to compete nationally? There are some bands here that do compete at some of the um, larger competitions. I'm not sure that anyone's gone on to that national championship, mm -hmm. but La Cueva, um, Clovis bands, Las Cruces bands do compete in the regional competitions. Wow. I mean, that was 
was impressive already just seeing El Dorado High School mm -hmm. there. So I'm sure lots of good stuff at the pageant of bands. Now let's take a look at one more band. This is actually the Rio Rancho High School marching band. Uh, this is a video from last year and they're going to be attending or competing once again in pageant of bands this year. Wow, so good. Now, of course, we want everyone to get out there and enjoy pageant the bands and, and to see the competition. Uh, how can our viewers get tickets? Right now, the best way is at the gate, Saturday, October 8th. It's mm -hmm. at Wilson Stadium. Tickets are $8 for adults and $6 um, for students and seniors. And what time is the event on Saturday? It begins at 8.30 in mm -hmm. the morning and we'll conclude at four o'clock with an award ceremony. Okay, great. So there's going to be, and is there any kind of time frame as far as 1A to 5A? Do you separate that out? Yes, we do. The small bands per, um, compete in the morning and mm -hmm. the larger bands compete in the afternoon. Well, I'm sure it's going to be a great day for it. So definitely, I want to check that out. Thank you so much for coming Thank in, you. Chris Thank and you. Vicki. Thank you. All right, don't touch that remote. Coming up next, we are lifting and tightening with Bear Medical Spa.